Hey everyone, you are about to see the 10 most controversial flags of all time. This video is for educational purposes and we are not censoring any of the flags. So if you are easily offended by controversial flags, then this video is probably not for you. As well as the top 10, we are also going to include some honourable mentions. So let's jump right in. At number 10 is the flag of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Northern Cyprus is a self-declared state located in the northeastern part of the island of Cyprus. This state is only recognised by Turkey, and every other country in the world recognises the Republic of Cyprus, which is the entire island. Northern Cyprus is populated almost entirely by Cypriots of Turkish ethnicity, and the flag is based on the flag of Turkey. The Northern Cyprus flag reverses the white and red, and adds two horizontal stripes. The flag was adopted in 1984. The flag is controversial due to the fact that it represents the division of Cyprus into two countries, but one particular depiction of this flag takes things to a whole new level. After the flag was adopted, some people started to create the flag's design out of stones on Mount Pentadactylus. This mountain is in northern Cyprus, but it's not far from the so-called green line that separates northern Cyprus from the remainder of the island. As a result, the design can be seen throughout much of the Greek part of Cyprus, including the capital city, Nicosia. Since the early stone structure, the design is now drawn with red and white dyes, and the flag is illuminated at night. It was first lit up on the Greek National Day of the 28th of October 2003, which Greek Cypriots interpreted as a clear act of provocation and hostility. At number 9 is the former flag of North Macedonia. This is the flag of North Macedonia between 1992 and 1995. The flag bears a symbol known as the Son of Virginia. This symbol was used by Greeks since as early as the 6th century BC. The name comes from the small northern Greek town of Virginia, where excavations in the 1970s uncovered its use by ancient Greeks. Since then, the symbol has been widely adopted by Greeks, particularly those in the north of the country known as Macedonian Greece. This version on a blue field is an unofficial flag of Macedonian Greece, and the symbol is also used by the Greek parliament. So when Greece's newly formed northern neighbour, North Macedonia, adopted this flag following the breakup of Yugoslavia in 1992, Greeks were outraged that the newly independent country used the Son of Virginia symbol. And it wasn't just the Greeks that were unhappy. The ethnic Albanian minority of North Macedonia complained that the flag was a symbol of the ethnic Macedonians and was therefore not an appropriate flag design for the multi-ethnic country. After three years of huge controversy and pressure, mostly coming from Greece, North Macedonia decided to change the flag. They created an alternative sun design with rays which was adopted in October of 1995. At number 8 is the Jolly Roger. The Jolly Roger is the traditional name given to the flags used by sea pirates. In the 17th and 18th centuries, pirates roamed various seas, looting and plundering in what became known as the Golden Age of Piracy. Individual pirates created their own banners, most of which were black in colour with white charges. The most common symbols include skulls, crossbones and swords. There is no doubt these flags were highly controversial at the time, having been used by outlaws who created havoc in the high seas, but nowadays the golden age of piracy has been romanticised, including the flags, and some people fly the flags as symbols of fun, adventure and mischief. At number 7 is the former flag of South Africa. This flag was used between 1928 and 1994. It consists of a horizontal tricolour of orange, white and blue. The white stripe is charged with three smaller flags. These flags are the flag of the UK, the flag of the Orange Free State and the flag of the South African Republic, also known as the Transvaal. South Africa was part of the British Empire with many British people emigrating there, but there was also a large population of people who came from the Netherlands. Two regions of South Africa wanted to break free from the British Empire and these were controlled by those of Dutch ancestry. War broke out between the British Empire and ethnically Dutch people of South Africa. The wars became known as the Boer Wars. While the British prevailed, South Africa and its various regions were granted more autonomy and the issue of creating a national flag arose. The chosen design was seen as a compromise between those of British and Dutch heritage. The main tricolour design is basically a direct copy of the former flag of the Netherlands, which was originally used by the first Dutch settlers of South Africa. The British are represented by the Union Jack, while the Orange Free State and Transvaal regions are represented with their respective flags. While the flag may have pleased the British and Dutch, the black population is not represented, and because it was the national flag, it became associated with the apartheid era of South Africa, and it was this association that made the flag highly controversial. In 1994, South Africa adopted a new flag. 
This flag marked the end of the apartheid era and the colours convey a new era of inclusion and unity. The British and Dutch colours of red, white and blue remain and those are joined by the Pan-African colours of black, yellow and green. At number 6 is the pride flag. This is the original flag. It was designed by gay rights activist and artist Gilbert Baker. The flag first appeared in 1978 at a gay pride parade in San Francisco. Since then the flag has evolved both in design and what it represents. The current version has six colours. Many variants have arisen over the years. The flag is controversial for numerous reasons. While the flag is now widely accepted in many cultures, particularly in the West, other societies frown upon its use. In some countries homosexuality is banned and in others gay rights are severely limited and with that comes highly limited use of the flag. But the flag also remains highly controversial in western countries as many see it as being a political flag among other things and the flag has been banned by certain institutions. Here is a variant that has become very popular in the last few years. It includes the colours of the trans flag as well as using black and brown stripes to represent black and brown people. Many people have taken issue with the fact that symbols are now being used to represent race rather than sexual orientation and so this has generated further controversy within the LGBT community. At number 5 is the jihadist flag. This flag as well as variants has been used by a number of Islamic terrorist groups. The version you see here features the Shahada, an Islamic creed. Translated to English it reads, There is no God but Allah, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. This is the flag used by Al Qaeda. Here is a variant that is used by ISIS. This flag is banned in Germany and a number of other countries have called for its banning as well. Here is the flag of the terrorist group which was the predecessor to ISIS. These flags are obviously controversial because they represent terrorist groups who have committed horrible atrocities and are also controversial due to the fact they take Islamic elements and carry out their terrorism in the name of a religion practiced by well over a billion people across the world the vast majority of whom are appalled by the fact that these acts are carried out in Islam's name. At number 4 is the battle flag of the Army of Northern Virginia which became the Confederate battle flag. Some simply call it the Confederate flag though this was never the official flag of the Confederate States of America. Here is the elongated version which has become more common than the original square flag. Used during the American Civil War between 1861 and 1865, this flag has actually grown in controversy over the years. Many people in southern US states see the flag as part of their history and heritage, while many more see it as a symbol of slavery and racism. Controversy has grown over the last few years and the flag was recently used by a mass shooter. This murderous rampage prompted many retailers to stop selling the flag. Also, the state of Mississippi voted to change their old flag, which featured the battle flag. This new flag from Mississippi was adopted in 2021 and back in 2020 the NASCAR racing organization banned the flag from its events. At number 3 is the rising sun flag. This Japanese flag consists of a white field and an off-center red disc with 16 rays emanating from the disc and is meant to symbolize the sun. This design was first used in the early 17th century and in 1870 was adopted as the war flag of the imperial Japanese army. Then in 1889, it was adopted as the naval ensign of the Imperial Japanese Navy. Because of these official adoptions, the flag became associated with Japanese imperialism and the terrible atrocities committed by the Japanese. The flag is hugely controversial in Korea and China, as well as some other Asian countries which suffered at the hands of Japan. Many in Japan defend the flag, claiming that because it was used long before the imperial conquest, it shouldn't be associated with the crimes of the Japanese and the flag is still used today as the official Japanese naval ensign and is therefore flown in Japanese ships today. This has caused much controversy with neighboring South Korea which has requested the flag be taken down numerous times from Japanese vessels in their vicinity. The flag was banned by FIFA, the world's governing body of football and the International Olympic Committee has hinted that they may also ban the flag. Capcom, the video game company behind the Street Fighter series, removed the Rising Sun flag in a re-release of Street Fighter 2. At number 2 is the flag of the Soviet Union. This flag, which was slightly modified throughout the years, was the official flag of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics from 1923 to 1991. The color red honors the red flag of the Paris Commune of 1871. The hammer symbolizes urban industrial workers, while the sickle symbolizes agricultural workers, who together as the proletarian class, form the state. The red star represents the communist party 
and its position over the hammer and sickle symbolizes its leading role in socialist society to unify and enlighten the workers and peasants in the building of communism. Under communism, the people of the Soviet Union suffered horrendously under the Communist Party. Millions of people died as a result of murder and famine. The party brutally cracked down on political dissidents and caused deliberate famines. The flag and other symbols of the USSR have been banned in numerous countries that were previously part of the Soviet Union. Despite the massive controversy, some people, in particular young college kids, think it's cool to wave around the Soviet flag along with wearing Che Guevara t-shirts, and many of these idiots actually think communism is a good idea. Before we reveal the most controversial flag of all time, here are some honourable mentions. We couldn't do a controversial flag video without mentioning some flags of present day countries. Here we can see the national flags of France, Israel, the UK and the US. The French and British flags are controversial due to their past colonial conquests. The US flag is controversial due to its abuses as a world superpower in the 20th and 21st centuries. And the Israeli flag is highly controversial in the Middle East due to the strong opposition to the Israeli state. And focusing on the British flag and colonialism, the flags of four present day countries used a Union Jack on their flags. Australia, Fiji, New Zealand and Tuvalu. Not surprisingly, this is controversial in all four countries and opinion is divided on the issue. Right now, the majority of the citizens of all these countries agree with the use of the Union Jack which probably explains why the flags have never been changed. A number of current national flags derived inspiration from the Soviet flag, including Angola, China, North Korea and Vietnam. Angola is no longer a communist country and as a result, there has been a movement to change its flag. And at number one is of course the flag of the German Reich, also known as the flag of Nazi Germany. This is undoubtedly the most controversial flag of all time. The flag consists of a red field which is charged with a black swastika on a white disc. The swastika is an ancient symbol used throughout Asia and Europe. It became widely used by Eastern religions such as Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism. But now the symbol will forever be tainted by its use by Nazi Germany. Adolf Hitler adopted the flag in 1933 when he became the Chancellor of Germany. It was initially used alongside the flag of the German Empire. When President Paul von Hindenburg died in 1935, the Empire flag was no longer an official flag and the swastika flag became the one and only official flag of Germany. When it comes to symbolism, Hitler wanted to keep the old Empire colours of black, white and red because he saw them as his most sacred possession when he was a soldier. He added new symbolism to the colours stating that the red expressed the social thought underlying the movement, white the national thought, and that the black swastika was an emblem of the Aryan race, and the ideal of creative work which is in itself and always will be anti-Semitic. Being the national flag of Germany at the time, it will forever be associated with World War II and the imperial aspirations of Hitler, which brought about devastating and disgusting actions carried out in the name of Nazi Germany, including mass murder and genocide. The flag is banned in many countries, including Germany, but many people today use the flag in variants to espouse their love of fascism and Nazism and the evils of Hitler and his Nazi regime. These people are losers, just like the dumb college kids waving the Savvy flag. But to quote Albert Einstein, two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity, and I'm not sure about the universe. So those were the 10 most controversial flags of all time. Do you agree with our list? Did we leave out any flags you think should have been included? Do you think controversial flags should be banned? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in flags. We also have a discord server and if you'd like to join the community, the link to join is in the video description. That's it for now, thank you for watching.